So. Wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I got this. My name is Kiara Brown. Um, I'm from Inglewood, California. I am a business major, business administration major, and I have a passion in beautifying people and trying to make sure that they know that they're self-worth. Hmm, I got my first palette at a Christmas drive. And um, basically, during that time, my family, we really didn't have that much money. So we went to this Christmas drive and I got my first palette. And I was practicing and I was like, hmm, I'm pretty good at this. So I fell in love right then and there. I didn't start doing makeup until I got to college. So, yeah. The brand is called Poker 2 Poise. Uh, so Poker 2 means beauty, poise means confidence. And so the main focus is to ensure in women or instill in women that they know that they're beautiful and that they're able to fo mainly realize that they're beautiful with their skin natural and with makeup. So basically I try to make sure that they're, held, they're holding themselves to a high esteem. And I don't know, the, the brand is is building. I would like to create a line that will um, basically your wearing makeup is not too heavy, it's not too cakey, and it's also benefiting the skin. So it's going to enhance your pores and close if it's too open, close them. If it's too oily, make sure that the base of the product is tending to the needs of the uh, the queen. A lot of women, they like to say they're a bad bitch. They don't refer themselves to queens. So uh, I refer my clients as queens because they are queens. And in order to grow inside, you have to change your mindset, your mental. Yeah, I try to change their mindset for the better of themselves. My best moment would be being able to do over Queen's makeup and seeing my progress on their face. So like I had a client, well my sister, Jasmine, and um, previously she did a concert in Richardson Hall. And so the first time I did her makeup, I was rushing, I wasn't focused, and then I wasn't really focusing on her structure of her face. The second time I did it, it was beautiful. I was able to really bring out her, the qualities of her face and the how open her eyes are and so yeah that was a big moment for me to see my progress from that because you got a chance to grow as an mm -hmm. artist gotcha mm -hmm. i like that Ooh. my biggest struggle was eyeshadow i would probably say uh oh boy my freshman year <laughs> And eyebrows. Eyebrows were, were my worst. So YouTube has been my best friend throughout my whole process. So I just try to look at the face. I try to see what angles go where, how this is going to look. If I make this line this way, will it look right with the rest of the face? Or the eyeshadow when it comes to the creasing, like it's different skills and tactics that you have to do and to make sure that um, it looks fine, it, lo it looks great. And the most important thing is blending. And I had to realize that it took me probably, I wanna say a year and a half to say blending is important. <laughs> like, because the eyeshadow, you don't want it to look too hard. It's the face, you don't want it to, you don't wanna have like your contour right here, you can see the actual line. You want it to blend and make sure it looks soft. and. Yeah, so that's that would be my biggest struggle would have been eyebrows and eyeshadow. Hmm. Well, I have this palette. It's the Masquerade by Juvia's Palace, and this is just to die for. So it was like thirty-two dollars, and I just fell in love with the pigments of this palette. Ooh, you see, I've been playing with it. But basically, um. 
I really use this one the most because gold pops out on melanin just wonderfully. Um, the purple is pretty good. The pigments of this palette, it brings out just the, the skin of black women and I fell in love with this palette because of that. So yeah, I was told uh, that the palette was discounted like I don't know, like, you said a few months later? I was <laughs> upset. Like, but it's okay. I used it enough to where, like, it was worth it. So, and I feel like it's going to last me regardless of how much it was. Salty about that. I am very <laughs> salty. Like, I could have spent, like, a half of what I paid for it. <laughs> Just a little So basically, whenever you're trying to have a full beat face, let's say your eyes are a little bit natural. That's fine. You have uh, eyelashes. Let's say you put a little bit of gold in a tear duct and then brown on your eyeshadows. Very simple, easy. Now, if you want a beat beat face around that, make sure that you put on your foundation. Then you put on your highlight, which is the concealer under your eyes on your lip, on your nose, your chin, your cut crease um, underneath your contour, and your forehead. After that, you blend that out, and then you put the baking powder. So that's going to prevent it from running. That's going to prevent it from uh, just basically not looking correctly, and it's also going to set in place. Um, after that, then you're going to put your contour, that's the darker uh, areas, of your face and then you're going to blend that out so that's right here basically you're forming a three so you have one three right here and then you bring it down um, and then uh, after that you blend that out then uh, you put the powder on the certain dark spots of your contour just to make sure that's set in place as well you put the lighter colors of the powder on your um, taking off that baking powder and um, then you put your blush and of course you have to have the highlight so that's like the shimmer of your whole face that's the the honey the the drizzle on the donut that's the the cream of the crop like you have to have the highlight in order to show the boom like the the nose, the lip, everything. So that's the most important thing uh, is the highlight because then you have that shimmer and the glow of the face. And then that's when you have your smile and then you're happy. So you got to get the glaze. You have the to get the glaze. glaze. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the shimmer. <laughs> okay. Are there any more questions? No, that'll be all. Thank oh, you, Queen. Thank you, Queen. Oh, you're <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs>